Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jo and I help creators with freelancing, passive income and tech. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create order bump for digital products on system.io. Order bumps are a great way for you to increase your overall cart by offering something that complements your main digital product. If you're unsure exactly what order bumps are, let me explain. When someone goes through the checkout process to buy your main digital product, there is an option that you can add that says something like, hey, would you like to add this to your order? It's a little bit like when you go through the drive-in at McDonald's and they ask you if you would like to upsize your order or if you'd like to add fries with that. They are really easy to add and if you package things up really well, they can be irresistible to your clients. Before we dive into the video, I just want to let you know that I've put links to resources that I have in the comment section below of the video, so definitely check those out. And if you find my content helpful today, please make sure to like and subscribe so I can keep creating more for you guys. Okay, so I'm inside my system.io account and you're going to want to create a funnel. I've just created a demo funnel for now and you're going to want to make sure that you have at bare minimum an order form and a thank you page for your order bump. Now I'm just going to select any of these templates. I'm going to select this one here and you are going to want to edit the page. Now this is the design aspect of adding your order bump. So you are going to add your order bump module to the payment section. You need to put it in a place that makes sense to your clients. So whatever your design is, you need to make sure when you're looking at it that it makes sense. So you're gonna grab the order bump module there and I'm just gonna put it above the payment information. I'm also gonna make sure that it has enough breathing room. So I'm gonna to go to margin and I'm just gonna pop a little bit down there just so that there's a nice space down there. Now, the one thing about order bumps is yes, they are ugly. <laughs> they are supposed to be ugly. The reason why they're ugly is because when you're scrolling through your order page, you want people to go, oh, what's that? And be able to like, actually kind of get a bit of shock from the order bump design. It's because it draws attention. So what I'm gonna do though, I the one thing I can't handle with these order bumps is the dashed line. So I just go none. I just feel like it suits a lot more of the templates and a lot more designs a bit better. And you of course can change the background colors and the text colors and the font and all that kind of stuff. So you can do that just by selecting here and choosing one of the colors or putting in a hex code from your brand. If you are gonna change the colors and use your brand colors, I would recommend using slightly out of the box or uglier colors or brighter colors or something that from your brand, just so it does stick out like a sore thumb because that's what you want it to do. Now you also will need to change the text up here from yes I want it to yes something like yes add to my order for $27 or whatever the cost of your order bump is going to be and then you need to add a description of what it is that people are going to get. I suggest that you stick to how many words are here because if you imagine trying to describe an order bump which is supposed to be like a add fries with that that long nobody is going to read that and no one's going to buy it because it's just too long you just want to stick to that so it's all the information people really need to know and nothing extra okay now you'll see that there are some error messages here and that's okay that's just because we haven't hooked up pricing plans yet so i'm going to go save changes and I'm just gonna exit out of here. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that I have my digital product pricing plan, my main digital product pricing plan attached, so then we can reduce the error messages. So I'm gonna to go to digital product and I'm gonna add a pricing plan. I am going to choose a one-time payment because most of the time that's what it is. Now I'm just gonna choose an existing pricing plan that I've got. You can create a new one like it says down here, but you need to make sure that you put something for your main digital product. Now, before we're going and adding our order bump, we're actually going to create a tag for our order bump. So that's because that's actually how you add your order bumps. So you go to contacts, you go to tags, now you go to create. Now, whatever your order bump is called and whatever your funnel is called, that's what I would call this tag. So I'm just going to call it that just for demo purposes. So I'm going to save that and make sure that that tag is there. Okay, great. So I'm going to come back to my funnel. 
Okay, so I'll come back into the funnel. So I am here. Now what I'm going to do is scroll down and we are finally going to add that order bump. So I'm going to add the order bump. Now you would choose digital product. Now you think you would add the pricing plan, but you actually are going to add the resource. So the resource here, you are going to go to tags and then you're going to choose that tag that we created. So I think I called it order bump 12. There it is. We're going to save that. Okay. And then we can add the pricing plan. So the pricing plan is going to be a one-time payment. You can choose an existing plan or, you know, you can create your own one. So I'm just going to select something that's already in there just for demo purposes and you can select save. Okay, so now we have set up the pricing plans for our main digital product. We've selected the tag for our order bump and we've added a pricing plan for it as well. It should all be connected in our order form. So let's have a look at the order form. So when we go into edit, we should see no error messages. So we should see not, nothing red. Okay, cool. So that is all hooked up. You can see that there is nothing red there. Okay, so we also want to make sure that we are going to be able to deliver our main digital product and our order bump. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to deal with the digital product. So we're going to go add rule. We're going to go new sale. And this is when a new sale comes through the order form. Now, I always add tags whenever a digital product comes into an order form because I want to know what they've bought and where they've come from and everything like that. So I'm just going to select this one for demo purposes. You can create any tags you like. And then we are going to send them an email, which is going to deliver their main digital product first. So I'll just show you, I'll just add one of these ones because I'm going to do it for the order bump anyway. So I'm just going to save that rule. Now, this is where we are going to add the delivery of the order bump. So to do that, remember we have tagged the order bump, okay? So all we need to do is create an email first. Okay, so now we've set that up, it is time to set up the email that is going to deliver the order bump. So you're going to come to emails and go campaigns, go create, and I'm going to call this order bump 12 because that's what I called it. I highly recommend that you write what the order bump is called and potentially even the funnel name just so you can make sense of it and write a description. So you're going to go save, come into the campaign and we are going to go create and we are going to say thank you for your order and then whatever the order bump is that you have chosen so i'm going to go save and you can write whatever you like in here this is the email that's delivering your order bumps you can go hi and then put their first name in there by using the value there and then you know here is your and then whatever your order bump is called right now what i recommend you do is use something like dropbox i'm just going to use a photo of my puppy and you can use Dropbox or Google Drive or anything like that for your file storing system. Now I've grabbed the share link and I'm just going to highlight that whole text and I'm going to paste it in there. And that means when somebody gets this email, they're going to get access to that link there. So what I recommend you do is you save and test with every single email that you create. Uh, once you've done that and it's looking and working exactly how you need it to, then you can go save and publish. So you don't need to worry about anything like this because if you leave it how it is, it's going to send it straight away. So I'm just going to go activate and exit out of here. Now you can tell that the status is ready to go by that green tick. If you don't have a green tick, it's not ready to go and you need to make sure you save it and you publish it or you go to the three little dots and you go activate. That says deactivate right now because it's obviously active. Okay, so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to set up a workflow. So we are going to go to create and this is going to be called your order bump workflow. So whatever maybe the funnel name is and then your order bump, whatever it is that you're delivering and you're going to go save and we'll go into that. Now this is going to instruct system.io exactly what to do. So the trigger is going to be an action. And the action is going to be the tag that we created for your order bump. So the order bump is whatever it's going to be called. 
you create that. So when the tag is added to this order, to, when it is added to a person, then you can go action, and then we're going to send the campaign. So subscribe to campaign, and the campaign that we had was the one that we just created, which was for the order bump. And then you can see that that's all there. It seems a little bit complicated, but once you do it a few times, watch through the video, it's really good. Okay, so I'm gonna exit there. And again, make sure just like with the emails, if it's not green, it's not active. So you're gonna to go to activate and go to confirm. So let's go back to the funnel and we'll go to the order bump. And you can see that we have set up the main digital product we have set up the order bump here. So remember we added the resource of the tag. The tag was order bump 12. So whatever your order bump is gonna be called. The pricing plan, which is whatever the price costs for your order bump. Then we set up the campaign, which was order bump for your order bump name. So we set up the campaign, which all the campaign included was just the email that delivered your order bump. And then in automations, we had the workflow and the workflow tells system.io exactly what to do. So inside that, when the tag was, was applied, that means that that person is going to subscribe to that campaign, which had that order bump being delivered. I hope that all makes sense. Go through the video a few times, but that is how you're going to increase your digital product sales by adding the order bumps to your order forms. If you want some extra help with doing some order bumps and you want a done for you funnel, I've actually got system.io in a box, which is only $7 and it is a one click install. It comes with so many different things. You get uh, video trainings, there's a support group and on the order form, there's an order bump and it will teach you exactly how to set it up and everything like that. You can see that there are all these videos here that you get and it teaches you so much more. But if you want that little bit extra with order bumps, then this $7 funnel is definitely for you. If you enjoyed my content today, please make sure to like and subscribe. Leave any questions below. I answer all of my comments and make sure to check out this video because it's definitely going to help you level up even further.